Okay, so in this video, I'd like to talk about three topics. First topic is, why is my coffee always cold? Second topic is, do I really need another haircut? And third topic is, how to use the settings on a TV in the correct way. Enjoy. Okay, so let's talk about how to use settings on a TV and it doesn't matter what TV in the correct way. And why I have to do this video, and yeah, by the way, this is not coffee, this is tea because my, my throat is killing me. Um, anyway, so why do we have to use this in the correct way? So first of all, while I'm doing this video, I read a lot of comments about, um, especially when I made my video about the um, dark area settings, was my remote, no, not the dark area settings, the um, fine tune dark area settings on my LG CX. So a couple of people wrote, hey, great, I'm using the settings with, with minus five and everything looks fine and another one is uh, writing uh, yeah I'm using this with plus four everything is fine and so on and so on so first of all I have to say it's of course completely up to you what setting you're using on the TV okay full stop I really don't care if you're using this with minus 30 or plus 30 but I think I made it very clear in my last video what happening what is happening if you change the setting okay so I'm not repeating myself because we don't have time, okay, so it's, anyway. So anyway, what I'm trying to tell here is, um, when I'm calibrating my TV, let's say for the game SDR mode, or game HDR mode, doesn't matter, I will do this once and then I will leave it, okay, until I'm doing a new calibration and, and I think, hey, maybe I, I change now, uh, something has changed or whatever, or I'm, tr I'm trying a slightly different, different color temperature, okay, so. Why I'm doing this just once? Because we have standards here in terms of producing movies and films, okay? So, when we're talking about the games, the producer and developer and whatever using a standard and the most common standard is D65, REC709 or in terms of HDR, uh, P3, was it P3? Oh my God, or uh, REC2020, okay? Those are standards by movie by games and so on and so on and the developer producer working within those standards okay so that means when we are when we are able or um, when we can actually calibrate our tv to the d65 standard which is the common standard then we have a very good chance that we have exactly the same picture as it was intended from the developer, okay? Because they have an idea about the game, how it should look like, okay? So, and even we don't agree, let's say, with how the sky is looking or how the flower is looking, when we have uh, calibrated our TV, then we have exactly how it was intended. We can agree or not, if we like it or not, but then this is the picture, okay? How it was made. So, that's why I'm not changing anything on my TV when I'm playing different games. Okay, and the same counts with the fine-tuned dark area setting, okay? So the factory setting from the TV is zero and it should be zero, okay? If you have to change it, like let's say, and I'm using always this as an example because it's a very bad example. And at the moment I'm doing a lot of testing with this game and this setting, if you actually can use this setting to improve the picture quality. but I'm not quite sure yet, okay? But let's say like this, if you're now playing this game and you're experiencing, yeah, black level is not the correct way, you can use this setting, okay? You can use it, but then it's just for this game. And always keep in mind, if you have to use this setting, something is already wrong. Something is already wrong because you shouldn't use this setting. It's the same with let me just jump to picture settings, to the brightness setting. Brightness setting 50 on the LG CX is always 50. Full stop. 50 is the correct way, the correct settings in HDR and in SDR. If you have to change this to 49 or to 51, something is not correct, okay? That's how, I, how it is, okay? Correct is 50, okay? So. Whenever it is possible, you should use the internal settings from a game. Let's say the brightness settings, maybe saturation, maybe contrast, stuff like that, okay? this, okay? To adjust the picture as you like it, okay? You should never, never change the settings 
on the TV just because of, because of a game, okay? Because then you change it for anything else, for everything else, okay? And this is very, very bad, okay? So usually I would actually, uh, uh, yeah, best way would be actually there is no setting at all necessary in a game. But unfortunately in some games, you need, you have to have settings like brightness in HDR, whatever. It's always, I don't know why. In, in Resident Evil, in uh, Village, Resident Evil Village on the Xbox, I have to set the settings like in a ridiculous way, like in plus, in absolutely in, in, the, in the plus in, in terms of brightness to get a proper picture, which I don't understand. And yeah, I made a video about this HDR picture settings. But this shouldn't be the case as well, okay? So usually the game should be mastered, or the same for movies, and in a way that you don't have to change any settings, okay? So not here, for sure not here, and of course not here. But again, it's better to change it in the game or in the movie. Okay, there's no possibility to do it in a movie, but in the games, most in most of the cases, you have in-game sliders in terms of brightness, saturation, contrast, tint, whatever settings there are. Change it in the games and not on the TV, okay? Okay, so let's summarize this video, okay? So, changing picture settings on the TV just because of a game, very bad idea, okay? If there is a possibility to change it in the game, do it in the game. Because then it's just for the game and not for the whole input like the Xbox in my, my, my case here, okay? So the same counts for the fine-tuned dark area settings. If you don't have to, don't change it. Just because different other YouTubers or whatever saying, hey, the best setting is minus six, don't do it because it's wrong, because it's really up to the game. And most of the games, they have no problem at all in terms of raised black or crashed blacks. They are mastered perfectly. So there's no point at all to change anything in terms of the fine-tuned dark area settings, okay? And if and if you like to have a little bit of a brighter picture in terms of the yeah, darker areas, change your gamma, okay? So there are three options on the LG CX-19, which gives you a very bright picture, or 2.4, which is a very dark picture, and of course then 2.2, which is the setting what I'm using when I'm gaming, okay? So change this, but don't change. Please don't change brightness or fine-tune dark area if you don't have to do it, okay? And with if you don't have to do it, I mean I will do a proper testing with this game because this has a serious issue with HDR and raised black. And I will try, I will try to find maybe a solution to use fine-tune dark area with this game and just with this game. Again, because if I decide to use, let's say, minus five, with this game. It's really just for this game, full stop. Not for the whole Xbox, okay? I hope I made this clear, okay? So put in the comment section uh, maybe a couple of games where you think you have to change the picture settings to get a better, better picture settings and I'm happy to look at it or maybe give advice or maybe I learn something because maybe I'm completely wrong. Can be. Um, because, you know, I'm happy to learn something new. But again, usually you shouldn't touch those settings at all. You set this up once or you leave it in a factory settings and again factory setting is zero here and in terms of brightness it is 50 on the LG CX and I'm very sure it's the BX and the GX as well. And you can, of course we can argue about color and sharpness, sharpness but this is actually a different story, okay? But not, <laughs> no, actually not because color is also, if you calibrate it you have one setting and that's it, okay? So again, Oh, video is already too long. Okay, so put in the comment section what do you think on uh, and put some examples on or from games or from movies where you have to change picture settings because otherwise it looks ridiculous. And I'm happy to have a look in it, at it, and yeah, then I will comment as well what I think about it. Okay, so thank you very much again, and I see you next time. Bye.